Hey everyone, it's Natalie here back with another channel message for you guys today on this lovely Sunday. I hope everyone is doing well. So we're going to tap into this energy, all right? Um, I've been getting a few downloads, but I don't want to confuse anybody, so I'm just going to like say what I have to say just one by one, okay? I'm getting something about um, social media. The use of social media could be negative in a sense for somebody but positive in another sense for another person, okay? Picking up with two different energies, all right? Um, also something about artificial intelligence. Basically, um, internet, social media, the World Wide Web is turning their back on certain people and elevating others. I don't, I don't know what that means though, because I can, I can go on and on with it. I, I, we can sit here and talk about AI and, um, how it can be dangerous, but I'm getting more like um, it's turning its back on people or like it's it's malfunctioning. That's the word I want to use. It's like malfunctioning for people, but it's the people that misuse it or something like that. We got expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constraint, and exhausted ego. Yeah, like because all that stuff is man-made. So it's different, okay, how you manipulate, I guess how you guys manipulate the inter internet is, is very important right now, okay, um, but there's ways to manipulate for good and ways to manipulate it for bad. Um, these people that are manipulating it for bad are being judged. I'm also hearing something about the Anunnaki, you know, AI is all connected to uh, entities that we cannot see. All right, um, they have a say about this. Whenever I get messages about them, it really, I get messages about them like maybe once every six months, the Anunnaki. And it basically tells me that they're here. Um, they have their stamp on the world in multiple different ways. Uh, for instance, we don't have to go to a library anymore to study anything. We can just Google everything now and study. Um, books are no longer, like it's all electronic. Everything is electronic. Um, there's no more cashiers anymore, basically, because everyone's doing everything by themselves or there's machines out there. You guys know where I'm going. Um, their mark is left here, pretty much, and people are getting ripped away from things, okay? I'm picturing like a kid I'm picturing like a, a kid that doesn't want to go in on his first day of school and he's like holding on to the car and begging his mom not to put him in school like he's throwing a tantrum. I feel like people are throwing a tantrum right now. We have detachment here. With detachment, you finally feel hold inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's when it's fulfilled. Sounds like the internet. Like, you know how people act crazy when their Wi-Fi goes out? Okay, it's giving me something like that. We have clearing out here. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let you go or to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mind, mind, minds to God's, 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 such freedom. Um, it's a privilege to have all this stuff out here because number one, it's not really meant to, it was always meant to malfunction and go against us because you know, that's how it always has been. Um, robots are created and they get smart and then they go against their creator you know, we have divine abundance out here. You are born to align with love's will. Follow the towel and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant and not chase it. Yeah. So some people are using the internet for abundance. They're using the internet to, and there's many different ways to do this in a low vibrational way. Um, I'm not judging anybody what they do on the internet. But there's people out here that are definitely trying to expand, but it's fake, okay? It's not built on anything. It's not built on the divine and what the divine wants. These people are going to be ripped away from this. And some of them might be going to jail. Okay, so that's different. Let's see, what is this energy talking about? Ooh, so we have star, famous. You guys could be a star. Someone out here is a star. 
Okay, spirit wants someone to know that they're a star. Everyone knows somebody out here. And this does sound like something off of social media. Um, let's see. What is this energy? We have Sacro Chakra, Talk of the Town. Also, something else about social media is that news travels way faster than it used to. We have Talk of the Town out here. Good news and bad news. Um, I feel like... I also feel like there's something here about, like, you know, the government and politicians. You know, I don't want to get too deep into that, but basically they they use social media so that news can travel, but now it's, like, malfunctioning on them, too, because now it's easier to dig up the secrets on what they've been doing behind the scenes, right, when social media is involved, okay? Um, we got hidden gifts out here. Yeah, it's easier to pick up what um, people are doing behind the scenes because social media, news travels fast. Uh, things are no longer conspiracy. It's either fact or not a fact. Keep praying is out here. Excelling spiritually in private relationship. So keep your relationship off of social media. Yeah, don't be tempted. Don't listen to what social media is 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 talking about a lot of people will say well if you don't post your person then that's not your person or whatever but that's not that's not always true though we're not even supposed to be on that so what do you mean if you don't post your person then that's not your person okay we got Sagittarius out here something about traveling we got chakras aligned you guys got a lot of hidden gifts okay gifts that people don't see you know it's in you not on you you guys radiate like beautiful energy. It's showing how you guys are maturing and, and excelling spiritually. I feel like people are talking about this, but they don't know who you're in a relationship with because your relationship is private. Yeah, we got unwanted pregnancy out here. That means that, yeah, someone is definitely watching your marriage, your pregnancy, if you are pregnant or whatever you got going on with somebody out here. Yeah, public image and reputation. It's going to be like a power couple or a famous couple out here. Whoever is trying to stop some, some, some sort of unwanted pregnancy, um, it's all backfiring onto them. And I don't know if they're manipulating the social media by doing it or manipulating the internet. Yeah, music artist is out here. So this, this must be about a specific person, a specific mu music artist that is a parent. You guys could be a music artist and a parent, okay? Uh, someone is watching someone give something to you or they're like spying on you and they're shocked. The tower out here. We got Scorpio energy out here. What is this energy? We got the nine of cups in reverse. Someone is not getting what they want. Someone is not content. They're not happy. Yeah, tower. Someone is very uncomfortable right now. Um, Page of pentacles in reverse. This comes off as like a con man energy. Someone that doesn't have anything to offer to the situation. So they're uncomfortable. They have like nothing to give. Or yeah, the moon card out here. The king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're trying to hide the fact that they're not reliable or that they're not committed to something. Compared to someone else that is or someone that has confidence. What is this? Three swords in the reverse with the page of cups. Queen of cups in the reverse with justice in the reverse. The four of cups in the reverse. Someone wants to heal a situation with you that um, a codependent person manipulated okay um could be a libra seeing water i'm seeing someone that had a lot of control when it comes to manipulating you or getting you rejected that's what it is they try to get you rejected by being a crybaby they must be the one throwing the tantrum out here they want to apologize for that yeah temperance in the reverse someone's throwing a tantrum i can't make this up I, I was feeling it in the beginning like like you know how kids act when the Wi-Fi shuts off these days. It's it's giving me that type of energy. It's like giving me 
like luxuries or things that are a privilege are being ripped away from people. I saw something on um I saw something on a reel and it showed this mother for her daughter's 16th birthday party bought her a Tesla and she's like, I didn't want a Tesla, I wanted a Mercedes Benz. And then she opened up um, birthday money and it was $1,600 for her 16th birthday. And she just gave it all back to her mom. She's like, here, I don't even want it. Here, you can take it back. I didn't want a Tesla. I don't want something that you have to charge. And it was just like, like people just seen this person as ungrateful when you look at the comments. And yeah, this is how this person is. Someone here is a child. Um, someone here wants to apologize for someone's behavior. Knight of Wands in reverse. Someone who's very reckless. They want things now. Yeah, Seven of Cups, they want a lot of options. They cause a lot of illusions around this Nine of Pentacles energy who just moved away. You were in the Six of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles energy, which means that you were sane enough to just be on your own and just sane and mature enough to, like you're grown. Nine of Pentacles with the Six of Swords, you're grown enough to not act this way, but they try to like manipulate it and make it seem like you were immature because you were in the energy of turning your back and being peaceful. Ain't that something? But really, it's this person out here throwing tantrums. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone who's real greedy, who needs to get their way all the time. This is someone out here who like for their birthday, since I'm, I'm picking up that energy of that real I saw, of that teenager this is someone like on before their birthday comes they tell all their friends about what they're gonna get exactly what it's gonna look like what color it is how much it's gonna be you know things that such and then they get mad when they don't get something because they told all their friends already a different story this is someone here who likes to spend money in their head before they get the money so now they're mad that they can't have this um lifestyle that they want of keeping up with the joneses it's like this person was this person tends to have this materialistic um side to them but they have nothing to show like how could you be materialistic and you have nothing to show and it's all due to someone here healing something with you yeah judgment in the reverse so they they thought that you were betrayed they thought that you were betrayed or something no that's not what happened someone here is actually very committed to you page of wands in reverse has bad news to them because that means they're going to get dropped i'm also getting something like they can't put all their burdens on somebody bad the bad news for them is that they cannot dump their baggage on other people that's their bad news You got the hermit in reverse. I'm hearing, why didn't you tell me? This person always wants to know everybody's business. Or they always want to know every little aspect of what you're doing. Ten of swords. Yeah, this person is having a fit. They feel defeated. Yeah, five of wands. They're having a fit right now. Fighting with other people. Queen of swords and the high priestess in reverse with the... I feel like you called someone's bluff too. Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You called someone's bluff out here. Or you just make someone look really reckless by basically not even really doing anything. You're not doing much to make this person look reckless. I feel like there's someone out here choosing you. Or there's some sort of friendship that you have out here with somebody that someone didn't know about. They didn't realize that you had a friendship with them like... Wow, you're actually friends with this person or you're actually together with them or I don't really really I don't really exactly sense well there is a private relationship card here but um I don't really sense a relationship. It's just like apology, a likeness, someone likes your energy. There's a Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands in reverse out here. That's someone that likes to cheat. Clarify the uh, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Or the Nine of Cups in the reverse, please. Holy Spirit and Angels. Yeah, we got the Moon card out here. Hidden Intentions, Five of Swords in the reverse. We got the Moon and the Five of Swords in the reverse. They feel defeated behind the scenes. You'll never see this or 
like they feel like depressed or there's things that they do behind the scenes that they have to like soak in their own energy by themselves because they had hidden intentions. They're going to look stupid if they expose themselves. I feel like they're trying to hide the fact that they're not, they're trying to hide the fact that they're not defeated right now. Um, they're not really doing a good job. I don't really feel like anyone's paying attention to them, to be honest with you. They're trying to throw the energy off with the moon card here. Clarify the page of pentacles in the reverse. Three of pentacles. Yeah, like I said, they like to, yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. They like to get in groups and talk about the things that they have or the things that they're going to get. If this is a teenager, which I'm not, I'm sure it's not a teenager, but it's giving me that vibe. This is someone that likes to say, oh, my mom and dad's going to give me this. They're going to give me the new iPhone. They're giving me this. They're giving me that. They're giving me the new Tesla, right? And then when they don't get it, they get mad at their parents because they already told everybody. Three of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This person has nothing to offer to the group. Or something like that. <laughs> so this person's crying right now. King of Cups in reverse. They're throwing a fit. Clarify the three. Yeah, eight of swords in the reverse. Clarify the three of swords in the reverse. So they also wanted someone to be afraid to like you. Or to like be thrown off by your energy or something like that. But they're not thrown off by your energy. Yeah, the two of wands. Someone is making plans. They're releasing themselves from some sort of jail or feeling betrayed or something like that out here. Someone also is trying to make themselves seem authentic, but they're not authentic at all. They're, they're very inauthentic and they have a lot of secrets. Um... They got a lot of secrets and they're always trying to emotionally manipulate people. That's their secret. Um, clarify temperance in reverse. There's a lot of aspects to this person. Like this person is like a handful. They got a lot going on. Clarify temperance in the reverse. They're a handful. I just heard two of swords. Death card. So I feel like whoever is in this person's energy right now, they're people are pretending like they don't see this person. It's like this person is like in everybody's face, like, hey, look at me, and like no one's paying attention to them. Two of Swords, Six of Cups, Soulmate Energy. The fool card. Yeah, it's like there's someone around them and they're like saying like, are you thinking about that person? Or like, why are you thinking? It's like this person can sense that whoever is connected to you is thinking about you and they want to come towards you. The fool card. We got the sun in the reverse, the high priestess in the reverse, and the star. Something about this person's character and energy is exposing them. I don't know what they're doing. Um, but I can sense it right now. Something here about children too. Tell me about that six of cups. They don't want someone to be in this energy, but they are. King of Swords is out here. He's clear. Very stern. Someone could be like overprotective of their children or something. King of Swords with the Six of Cups upright. Being very truthful. Sun in the reverse. Yeah, someone is being exposed. Okay, um, clarify the... Why the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Why the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? So someone out here is cheating, they're materialistic, trying to keep up with the Joneses, five of wands in reverse, yeah. But there's no competition though. There's no competition though. It's like someone here is doing this for no reason. They're doing all this fighting and fussing for no reason. 
We got the sun in the reverse. It's like no one's problem that this person is not happy. Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. This person may like run a family dynamic or something. The Magician in reverse. They try to manipulate everyone in their family. They try to manipulate a whole group of people. Or there's a whole group of people doing this with this person. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, the Devil and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Heavy magic being done. Heavy magic based off of jealousy. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini. They're real burdened out here because the rules are coming out. Like the spiritual laws are coming out with this person. Yeah. Clarify judgment in the reverse. So this person's being exposed and everyone around them is being exposed, I guess. And two of pentacles in reverse. They also can't like handle themselves. I don't know what... Was, this person's energy is like not good. I'm going to hurry up with this reading. Like, you can't build your reputation by being in the five of wands. You also can't build your reputation by gathering people around you. That's not going to build your reputation. Everyone sees you as a crybaby. Everyone sees you as someone that's throwing tantrums, whoever I'm talking to. That's not how you build your reputation. This person is a false leader. They're mad because a real leader walked in the room or something, or the real leader is here or something. I feel like with this King of Swords here, you know, people see the King of Swords as someone that's mean, but he says what he said. Like he says, the things that he says is what he said. He's very stern. He's not changing his mind. So he's setting boundaries with this person or these people. And it's like these people are not liking it. They know that if they set boundaries, then these gifts or whatever you've got on your side could be a pregnancy will be protected and be blessed. And it'll be aligned. Things will be aligned for you. They're trying to help you keep it aligned or something like that. People are talking about a private relationship out here. Um, I don't see how it's their business. Clarify the two of pentacles in the reverse. Four of cups in the reverse. Yeah, you're not getting juggled, but someone else is. They thought that if they ganged up people, I don't know what they thought something. Yeah, they, they cannot let go, but they have to let go because they're blocked. So why are they hanging on? Someone who is extremely clout hungry or something. They need energies. They need people. I don't know why I'm getting this. They need like a bunch of people, even if it's complete strangers. This is someone that will literally open their home up to anyone just so they can have friends or something. Someone always needs friends or um, a crowd of people, people crowding them. All right, clarify the hermit in the reverse. So they had a lack of knowledge about something. This person's not wise at all. Clarify the hermit in the reverse. We got the lovers out here. <laughs> and then we got the queen of wands. They had a lack of knowledge about this queen of wands energy being very beautiful. Someone really wants to commit to this person. Confident, it's all about confidence. It's all about confidence. It's not about what you have. It's about confidence. And that's what this Queen of Pentacles is not seeing. This Queen of Pentacles in a verse, they're not seeing that or they just refuse to see it. Or as long as they got dumb people around them that lets them think that they're doing the, the right thing, then they're good. There's something about their status is very important, but your confidence is your confidence says it all. Okay, clarify the Queen of Wands. Yeah, the Two of Cups. So someone is very attracted to your energy. They want to come together with you. They'd rather be next to you. Okay, partnership. For some of you, it might not even really be a relationship, but it's definitely someone out here that wants to work with you or come together with you. Someone is making the right choices. They're just sticking to the facts about the situation. They're not on this person's side whole, wholeheartedly. Maybe they're not letting them know this. That's why the moon card is here, clarifying the nine of cups in the reverse. They're not letting this person know that they're going to be defeated and not get what they want. They're just going to like go along with it or something. 
but they're definitely going to set boundaries when it comes to their soulmate or their kids or something here about the six of cups energy something about their harmony and peace they're not playing about their peace right now clarify the ten of swords is the outcome so there's endings Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, whatever plan they had out here, it failed. I don't know what plan they had. I'm I'm hearing someone out here wanted. Yeah, it's something about a group. They have people out here involved with this King of Pentacles trying to take their money or something. Yeah, they want to take their money. They had a, a another masculine involved out here. It it didn't work. They were gonna yeah they were gonna like take this Queen of Pentacles had a bunch of people together to take some masculine's money or something. Yeah, the Ten of, Cup, Ten of Pentacles with the High Priestess in verse and the Five of Cups. It's definitely something here about money with the Ten of Pentacles. Also, family, ancestors. Why this High Priestess in the reverse? Why the High Priestess in the reverse? A lack of knowledge, lack of intuition. Yeah, justice. Because this is all that matters right here the balance of things you know what i mean not what this person thought they knew or what they whatever false information they were getting from a high priestess yeah this person is delusional they need to snap out of it this empress in reverse the seven of wands in reverse and the seven of cups in reverse this could be someone's ex someone's ex is coming back around to them and it's really burst in somebody's bubble right now and they're like in shock i'm picking up they're like in shock right now um let's see we're all mad here everyone's a little different uncertainty choose who you will become this person doesn't know who they are they got a lack of identity they need a bunch of people around them so when they don't know who they are they claim that you don't know who you are but you know very well who you, who you are Okay, we have no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are out here. We also have follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. Know that you know what's best for you. Yeah, so this person is not, your person is not following this person's advice anymore. And that's why this person is in fear. So we have the right way, learning to create what you desire. Laws, not justice. Rules that are not fair. Yeah. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, and curiosity. So they're like, oh, that's not fair. How come they, they're so different. How come they can get this or they, they can get that? And I'm the one actually, I got the look. I got the money. I got the car. I got the house. But you don't have the confidence. You don't have the confidence, though, to carry it. This Queen of Wands lover's energy could be a fire or air sign energy has the confidence to carry the energy. It just fits well on her. She you see the Queen of Wands doesn't she has a flower around her and it just makes it it's it's a style. It's it's about how you wear things, not what you wear. Queen of Wands is also very magical. She could turn something into nothing. The Queen of Wands is the one in the relationship that makes the relationship look attractive. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she's she's attractive. She's attractive. So, uh, people know that whoever dates you automatically comes attractive like you or your magic sort of wipes off on them. <laughs> And not this person. Nobody wants to be around this person. Like, they don't even have any, like, attractive aspects. So we have Rebirth, Reset, Transform, Scorpio out here, Empathy and Compassion. Someone is changing the way that they feel about you. Society views. Yeah, something about society views. Uh, root chakra, left behind spiritually. Yeah, like I said before, something about the internet. People that are like stuck in that that warp hole of the internet that we have, it's like they're being left behind spiritually. It's all about knowing who you are. We have white witch, right use of power. Yeah, you use it for good. Yeah, your life is protected by God. 
good counsel. Then we have childhood trauma out here. So this person could easily get counsel, but they're going through a lot of childhood trauma as of right now. It could be a Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, that loves being evil. All right, so this is your guys' reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.